thereby lies a very interesting story. Nobody really knows how many Christians there are in China. But experts say that quite possibly within a few years, China will be the world's largest Christian country. Now, this is an extraordinary statistic. Well, it's not a statistic, it's, it's kind of an estimate. It's extraordinary because Christianity in China has gone through, I would say, three surges and three great disappearances. And in spite of everything, it is resurfaced, and now it is a more powerful presence in the People's Republic of China than ever before. Let's take some basic facts that most people, whether they're in China or they're journalists or they're scholars outside of China, agree to be corresponding to the truth. In 1949, when the People's Libera Liberation Army entered Beijing uh, in, in January, the number of Chinese Christian believers was estimated to be perhaps four million, of whom three million were baptized members of the Roman Catholic Church, and about 900,000 were Protestant Christians. Now, four million people might not seem a very big number of people, and it probably wasn't considering the fact that China had been subject to Western missionary efforts for at least um, 130 years prior to the arrival of the communists in 1949. And China had been the target of missionary efforts going right back to the Tang Dynasty in the 7th century. Let me just give you a little brief sketch of the history of the Christian contacts from the outside world with China, because it's, it's a very interesting story. There were, or I should say there are legends, and nobody has been able to prove any of these uh, stories, that St. Thomas, the um, evangelist who brought the Christian gospel to India and actually died in India, at some point in his sojourn in India made a special trip to China. We don't know, there's no archaeological evidence, there's no literary evidence whether he did that or not. But one significant Chinese scholar um, who used to be, is now retired, but he used to be uh, teaching at the Nanjing Theological Seminary, has done a study of um, Han Dynasty stone rubbings in Henan province. And he has come to the conclusion that the, stat that the portrayals in the stone rubbings could only have been made by people of Christian faith. One small example, one of the rubbings that he discovered in the museum of uh, the rubbings in uh, Luoyang was a portrait of five loaves and two fish. Well, that doesn't come from Buddhist scriptures. Um, there's only one place that could have come from, and of course it must have come from somebody who had knowledge of the Christian faith. So, we don't know whether or not there were Christian missionaries in China in the first and second century.